GRDA says parts of Grand Lake have blue-green algae and the extreme heat we're dealing with can make things worse. A bloom's been spotted at Ketchum Cove, although it's now gone. That area is being watched closely. And it's important to point out the algae doesn't affect the entire lake. News on 6's Brooke Griffin spoke with experts who say the algae can contain toxins harmful to people and animals. Well, the Grand River Dam Authority tells us that blue-green algae is something that's always present in our Oklahoma lakes. But whenever it gets to be present at a much higher level, that is when they say it becomes dangerous. OSU Associate Professor Andy Jalowski says this month's extreme heat, low winds, and proper nutrients have created the perfect recipe for blue-green algae blooms here in Oklahoma lakes. So what happens is when certain environmental conditions are uh, good for the algae, they bloom. And that's when we see events like uh, we saw at, at Grand Lake, where you get an accumulation of algae at the surface. He tells us this is a common algae, but when it becomes a large, toxic bloom, it's harmful to people and animals. It cause irritation. Um, it could cause some respiratory issues, um, some stomach discomfort, more severe liver impacts, neurological impacts. Blue-green algae is in most Oklahoma lakes. We've got a uh, pretty robust monitoring program. Our guys will be out in the summertime, in the busy lake season. They'll be out checking sites on a routine basis. The Suarez family says they plan on being in the lake every day this week and hopes if the water does become unsafe, somebody will warn them. Uh, like I said, the water looks pretty clean. I think that if there was something in the lake, um, you know, that is dangerous to the public, the people that are in charge of keeping the place would have had said something like, don't get in the water or watch out. So we're confident. And GRDA says that the blooms can appear and disappear within just 24 hours or even less. So if you do see anything that looks suspicious, they're asking that you go ahead and call it in. At Grand Lake, Brooke Griffin, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.